How's it going everybody? It's JDM Drifter and for this week's video I'm going to be reviewing the Hot Wheels Boulevard Corvette Z06 Drag Racer. So this Corvette is a new model released in the newest Hot Wheel Boulevard set. I was lucky to find this recently at Walmart as well as some other cars in the set and this was the only one there and the corner of the card is a little bit creased so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to open this up and check out some of the removable parts. This car wasn't revealed that long ago. When I first saw it I wasn't too impressed since Hot Wheels already has multiple variations of the C6 Corvette but I did end up seeing some pictures of this with the entire front and body off the car. This car has the whole front removable and the entire body of the car can pop off and when I open this up we'll get to check out this feature as well. You can see right here the panel line from the front and the body of the car. So this car surprisingly has some pretty cool features for being just a Hot Wheel premium release and it even looks like it has a separate piece die cast engine. So this car is definitely a pretty neat release. All the original Hot Wheel pop-off cars which I brought out some to show later in this video as well have been discontinued for a long time now and retooled. It is surprising to even see something that has over opening features like this and Hot Wheels Premium. But before we open this up, let's go ahead and check out the packaging. So down here on the bottom, it says that this is the Corvette Z06 Drag Racer. It is all metal and has real riders. This is also number 26 in the Boulevard series. And here on the top of the card is a picture of the Corvette. It says Hot Wheels Premium and Hot Wheels Boulevard. And up here is Alex Laughlin's signature and says Laughlin down here. This car is a replica off Alex Laughlin's drag racing Corvette. Hot Wheels got his permission to make this replica since in real life he actually does have a big Hot Wheel logo down on the side of the car. Alex Laughlin does drag racing for NHRA. And this is a replica of his personal Corvette drag car. And here's the back of the card with the other four cars in the set. There was Brennan Vitusky's Custom 67 Firebird, the Lancia Stratos Group 5, the 87 Buick Regal GNX, and the Porsche 964. I did also find the Porsche 964 and the Firebird, but I didn't get those. This set's been so far pretty hard to find, and I think the only reason I found the Corvette is because this card was damaged. So now let's go and open this up so we can get an up-close look at it, and I even brought some other Corvettes out to show later in this video. So here is the car cleanly cut out of the package. This car definitely is heavy and pretty cool looking out of the package with lots of detail I already notice on this casting. So before I check out the pop off feature, let's go and look at some of the other details this car has. So this piece sticking out here in the front of the car appears to maybe be a separate piece of plastic. And on the real car, this is clear plastic. It's meant for the aerodynamics so the air will just split right down the middle of the car. With Hot Wheels, it doesn't really look right the way they made it. It would have been best if they did it a part of the windshield, but I'm not sure exactly how they would have got that to the front. So it would have been better if they actually did a clear piece of plastic to make this look more realistic. Otherwise, this piece is just kind of loose and sticking out in the front, and not many people understand what that is. It also does have front and back detail with two parachutes on the back and a wheelie bar, which the wheelie bar does not look very realistic as well. And that is a part of the matte black painted metal base. And then right here it says 2012 Corvette Z06 Drag Racer. And this is the C6 body style Corvette. I did bring out some other C6s as well to show later in the video. This also has a metal body. The front end and the actual body of the car are all metal. Also has the metal spoiler made onto the body and the back here as well. And that is a separate piece metal engine. And you can see there's the rivet for that here on the front. And the interior and everything is getting held down by this rivet here, which looks like it's out of clear plastic coming from the window. You can see the rivet post here. This car also has a nice metallic blue paint, has the Hot Wheels logo big on the side and a dark blue, and says Speed Society on the side and on the front. So now let's go ahead and see how the car opens up. So it looks like the front slides forward with these pieces sliding in between the body of the car here. And it also looks like this might hold the actual body of the car down as well. If you're gonna put this on, you just take it and tuck it in that part and it smoothly fits on. So here's just the front piece. It is painted on the inside as well. And here is what that looks like with a separate piece metal engine. I am very surprised Hot Wheels actually did all these opening parts and metal on this. Even for Hot Wheels Premium, which are $5 castings, they typically have nothing open or not many separate piece details like this. So this car is pretty surprising. And the side pipes here and the black plastic around the engine is all a part of the interior. 
and the body of the car also just easily pops up. It's mainly latched on this piece that sticks out from the chassis here. And when you wanna put the body back on, it snaps into place. And this is also painted on the inside as well. Now the windows or the interior don't come off either. They are all connected to the base, but here's a better look at the inside of the car. It only has one racing seat on the driver's side and the windows are just regular clear plastic. The front and side windows have the textured rivets around them. So overall, this is a pretty cool casting from Hot Wheels. Personally, I'm not a big fan of how this all looks together with the giant wheels in the back and the real little ones in the front, but just the cool feature and all the separate pieces that this car has and the way that this was made to actually work is definitely pretty cool. It appears the gray plastic piece that sticks out here in the front is actually a piece of plastic that runs underneath the interior to also make the parachutes in the back. So definitely lots of pieces and detail into this casting. Hot Wheels doesn't even do this kind of stuff for the Redline Club as well, so hopefully they might start soon. And to put this car back together, I'm just going to snap the body into place and then slide the front on, and there you go. For the wheels, it looks like this has a deep dish steely style wheel in the back and a thin steely in the front. And this is a very small size drag racing wheel in the front with a red line tire, as well as a thick red line rubber tire in the back. And this car does drag a little bit in the front, and it appears it's from this piece of plastic here sticking out in the front. And here when I roll it, the plastic piece in the front dragging the ground. Hot Wheels used to do a series a long time ago called Pop-Offs, and some of these cars were also reused. I did bring out here, for example, this Pop-Offs Morris Mini. This was not from the original Pop-Off series, but this car came out in around 2014 and was still using that feature. As you can see, it has this little plastic lever here in the back and says unlock and lock. If I push down on this, you see this piece of plastic move forward here in the front. And as you can see here, this was a $1 mainline Hot Wheel casting that was all metal and had this pop-off feature as well for $1 instead of $5 for that one. And you can also see the interior in this one as well and the windows stay riveted to the body. So you tuck the grill in the front and just push the car back together. Rolls nice and smooth and stays in place. So this was a pretty cool feature. It's not as easy to pop off as this Corvette, but it was all metal for a dollar and had this pop off feature. And then Hot Wheels has ended up retooling it now where that mechanism is now sealed off and where the plastic that would pull forward is now sealed off as well. Also, the base has now been turned plastic. So you used to be able to get this for a dollar with the metal base and the pop-off body, and now the body is sealed with a plastic base on the Morris Mini. And Hot Wheels did the same with plenty of other cars as well, like there was a Volkswagen Beetle that was also a pop-off. There was even a van that was a pop-off body car. And all of them have now been discontinued or retooled into something like this. And also, for example, here's a all-metal Hot Wheel Funny Car. So you can see the typical Hot Wheel Funny Cars, which are now also getting sealed up for the basics, were all metal. And then they had a hinge here in the back, so you could just open them up and check out the motor that way. But personally, I do kind of like this full pop-off feature better. And some cars, it would work better to have it as a funny car. But as long as you have an all-metal car with an opening feature, I think it's worth it. This is now the newest version of the C6 Corvette Hot Wheels has came out with. Hot Wheels has done plenty of C6 Corvettes over the years. I don't have all the variations of the C6 Corvette, but I do have three variations of it that Hot Wheels does as well. This is also a 2012 Corvette Z06 like this one is. It's probably the car that Hot Wheels used to modify to create this one. This was also in the Hot Wheel Car Meet 5-pack video I've done a while back if you'd like to check that out. This is just a metallic yellow basic 5-pack release of the Corvette. This has the bump lip in the front which is a part of the base. Hot Wheels does another version of the C6 Corvette which I don't have any loose of that does not have the bumper lip because it is the regular C6 Corvette. This here is the Z06 model and here is the 2009 C6 Corvette ZR1. This is in the white, blue, and orange golf colors. This is one of my favorite versions of the Hot Wheels C6 Corvette until this one. This is my only other variation I have of the C6 Corvette. This is the C6 Corvette convertible. This one was the second recolor of the 2009 new model Corvette convertible in orange. The first color was in metallic blue. And this golf one was just in the main lines from 2015. And here's another Corvette I brought out as well. This is the C7 Corvette Z06, the newer model of the Corvette. And this is from the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary 2018 then and now series. And this is a Kmart exclusive as well. This car was also designed by Mark Jones as well. He also does a lot of the Hot Wheels premium releases. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the turntable and then that'll be about it for this video.
is about all for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my other most recent video on the Hot Wheels ID Bugatti Chiron. Definitely a pretty cool Hot Wheels casting with all the features and separate parts. Probably one of the best C6 Corvettes now I have in my collection. I have some more videos on Hot Wheels Premium and a few other castings coming up soon. If you're not already, please follow my Instagram. It is itsjdmdrifter. I'll put it in the description as well. So be looking forward for more videos, and I will see you next time.